Hey, this is Julia Joy with The Persevering Life, and it's so good to have you with me here today. As you can see, this is like our driveway. We have a very long gravel driveway. And so today was kind of cool. I used to be a teacher. I taught first grade and kindergarten, and before that I taught um, pre-K. And love it. So fulfilling. I love it. It gets into my creative juices too. And it's just so fun to um, create and explore um, learning and find out what works and problem solve with kids and just see them um, build into their lives and to just see them flourish and see them grow and just to be a part of the encouragement that can be instilled in their life. And also when I get an opportunity, depending on the environment I'm in to show show them about God's love and just to um, speak into their life, um, um, training them up in the Lord, which is also really cool to parent, partner with their parents and just being a part of, of the beautiful process that God has us in our life, just um, nurturing us and growing us. And so, yes, that is my passion. But it is interesting, though, because, um, you know, sometimes dreams change or we kind of take detours. Like, after, after I had my daughter Heidi, I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to work. There's these bugs above me. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to work, like, 70, 80 hour, hour <laughs> weeks, which I was doing, so... I was only teaching, I was, the first time that I taught first grade, I was pregnant with Heidi. Um, yeah, yeah, that was crazy, but I worked through it and I loved it and yeah, it was, it was awesome. It was an awesome year. Challenges, of course, but it was really cool. So now I just am looking at my life and I'm thinking about, my husband's really big into real estate. And so he really wants to um, have me become my real estate, getting my real estate license. And at first I was pretty like, why would I do that? That's not my mission. That's not what God, God's calling is in my life. God's calling in my life is, you know, to um, love kids and build their confidence and uh, build into their lives and help them. Of, and foster empathy and friendship and being kind and those kinds of things was is really been my passion since I was little and so I was like why would I do real estate like that's so different but recently I feel like God just kind of opened my heart to that possibility and I was just like wow I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And I'm trying to say singular in my, in my focus. So it's a real switch. And then also with YouTube, I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel since, I want to say July of 2019, because that was like a real big year for me, uh, 2000. Uh, July 2019 through July of 2020, God did a real long work in my life of also uh, refining me. And that was my word. That's so interesting how, the, how <laughs> the, the words in my year really can sum up the, the, my year as a whole. Like this last year, it was authenticity and God did a lot of work in me in that and so yeah so um but so not to get too off get back on track so i've been thinking about doing youtube for a long time and then now real estate it's like how am i going to do it all you know how am i going to go back to teaching when there's these other things on my mind too so also, I'd be interested on what, what you would have to say about that. Like, how do you, when you have a goal, like my goal has always been to be a teacher and to get really good at it and to just 
um, really just be a blessing as much as I can, you know, to the families and just to do my part in that. Um, but now I'm seeing as being a stay at home mom these last five years now, whew, um, just kind of like a mix up and dream and vision for my life. And I mean, I still think that teaching will be a part of my life in the future. But now I'm wondering if in the temporary, um, if that is, if that is what God has for me. So if you're a Christian, pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lord, I just pray that you would lead us all, Lord, into to where you want us, Lord, that we would hear your still small voice directing us and guiding us. So I hope that you find your calling in your life, that, that you pursue what you think your calling is, as if, if you don't know, and that, that um, you know, you strive to be the best you can. Because for me personally, there's so much fulfillment in that, in pursuing what God has called you to do. Just doing your best. You're just a human, just a normal world, just normal humans. Some people have more of a platform than others, and they look, oh, wow, you know, they're doing so much with their life. And, but, you know, that's the place that they, they poss you know, depending on what they do, you know, they're pursuing their strengths, and they're, they're, they're following God's lead, and they're striving to even non-Christians, I think, can, can do their calling in this life, you know, if they... Um, if they strive for more, but God would have something bigger and better for them that would be kingdom purpose. That's my personal opinion on that. I'd be curious to hear what other people's opinion is on that. But so, yeah. So I hope you have a great day. God bless for you. Thanks for joining me today.